What's up YouTube? This is Luke with Wilson Auto Detailing and the subject of today's video is door jam cleaning but in a little bit of a less traditional way in that we're gonna clean the door jams with the VX5000 steamer and I'm gonna be using this product super clean which is a degreaser and I've been experimenting testing and coming out with some videos here and there about this cleaner I absolutely love it it's amazing not only for like an all-purpose cleaner for the interior and a lot of the exterior but also an amazing grease cutter for the door jams now I will definitely come out with a video of just a much more simpler way to clean door jams or not simpler but a much more traditional way to clean door jams in that you're using a brush a tooth brush, you know, a degreaser and a hose. That's definitely one way to do it. But because I'm working on one of these maintenance vehicles right here, the door jams don't ever get extremely dirty. And so when you're dealing with a maintenance vehicle, if you're a pro detailer and you see the vehicle on a regular basis, there's certain areas that with new customers, it would take a while because there, there's a lot of dirt. But with maintenance vehicles, there's very little dirt. So door jams, if left for a long time, can be more time consuming to clean. But when they're a maintenance vehicle, they never really get that dirty. And so to break out the hose, the degreaser, the scrub brush, the toothbrush, to rinse it off, dry it off, it's just a lot of work that can be avoided if the door jam is not that dirty. And so let me take you guys in to the vehicle that I'm detailing right now, which is a Mustang, and show you guys exactly how I attack the door jams with my super clean and my VX 5000 steam cleaner. So I have my super clean degreaser in this bottle, diluted five parts water, one part super clean. And that's gonna be uh, just a much more safe dilution for any sort of painted surface. I don't use this on the outside paint, but when you're doing the door jams, it can definitely be used safely, diluted like this. Just let common sense lead, you know, don't let it sit and dry on the door jam or anything like that. But it's definitely safe with your common sense leading you. Now the more traditional sense of detailing a door jam would be to spray the super clean all in the door jam and then take your toothbrush and just scrub, scrub, scrub everything, all the gaskets, and then take a hose and spray it down. But obviously you can see that these door jams just are not that dirty and there is some dust and maybe a, a few spots that are a little bit dirtier but just not that dirty so i'm not trying to create more work for myself because if it can be done in a faster more efficient way then that's the way i want to take um, and if it can be accomplished not just faster but get the best results the same results or, or better results then i definitely want to do that and so one thing that you do have to worry about when you're traditionally scrubbing door jams with a toothbrush is it's still a painted surface right so there's still risks of scratching and stuff so a lot of times I'll just take my degreaser spray it on the door jam and lightly rub it in with my hand and then hose it off because ultimately these bristles are not that soft and they can definitely scratch paint especially if you're dealing with a darker car a white car it's a little bit different but with a darker colored car like this Mustang I definitely want to be more careful but in this case, I'm actually not gonna use the toothbrush at all. Literally the only thing I'm using is my microfiber towel, my super clean degreaser diluted five to one, and my VX5000 steam cleaner right here. I love this thing. Now, the only other thing that you might wanna use when you're doing a door jam that is done on a regular basis is a really soft makeup brush because you could spray the degreaser in the door jam and then just kind of agitate it with this makeup brush. It's very soft, definitely not gonna scratch any paint and you don't need something aggressive because the door jam is just not that dirty. So this is a great way to just kind of agitate it and um, keep the paint from being scratched. Now, a couple things before I start spraying the VX5000 in here. Because it is a painted surface and at the end of the day, it is clear coated, um, you want to be careful in that, once again, letting common sense lead, you're not gonna hold the steamer on one specific area of the door jam or one specific painted area for an extended period of time because yes, the door jams are pretty, um, not, not all that fragile, not quite, um, I don't take quite the same measures with door jams as I do the exterior of a car, but you still wanna take certain precautions and so holding the steamer, because it shoots out such high pressured, um, high temperature steam, holding that on a painted surface in one specific area for an extended period of time is very obviously not a good idea. So don't ever hold the steamer just in one place, but be moving it around. Make sure you're spreading it out. You know, never just, just crushing one part because at the end of the day, it can definitely soften that clear coat and soften that paint if you don't let common sense lead. It can be done the right way. So don't freak out. Like it can be done the right way, but it just has to 
be led by common sense. So here's what I'm gonna do. So this is kind of a weird angle, but you guys can see kind of the bottom part of the door jam here, and then kind of this interior in between the car and the door. This area is especially tight, and so it can be difficult to get everything clean in here, but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my super clean degreaser, spray it just like this, just right here on the bottom, kind of where you guys can see in the bottom inner part of the door jam here. And I'm just gonna take my VX5000 steamer, and because this nozzle is so skinny, it allows you to get in every part of this door jam. So I'm really not missing anything. So the degreaser right now is breaking down uh, some of the, that, that dust, that dirt, that grease that cakes up on the inner door jam. And then this is gonna come with this high powered, high temperature steam to even further break it down because obviously as you increase the temperature, your cleaning agent is gonna work even more efficiently and it's going to clean better. So I'm just gonna turn it on and I really am just gonna kind of spray very liberally all in here and get in these all, all these gaskets. I'm gonna get in these cracks and crevices all in these bolts and really get in areas that I couldn't do otherwise. And then I'm just gonna take my microfiber towel and really just very simply mop it all up and you don't have a lot to mop up because it's like, it's such evaporated, you know, the steam is so, it's just like evaporated uh, water. So really as you're spraying, as soon as you stop, there's gonna be a lot of it that's already dry, especially in the direct sun with the heat pounding down. Not only is it evaporated water, but it's it's got the sun beating down on it. So it really just don't have a lot to mop up. It's not very much work at all. So let me take in and show you this. So here's kind of the area that I did. It might be a little bit difficult to see, but you can see back in here like these parts that are so um, kind of hidden and just difficult to get to even down here way back in the corners here I'm able to get in these places with the VX5000 because it's so accessible the nozzle just allows you to do that and the steam is shooting as sort of a miniature pressure washer so the steam can shoot back into areas that the tool might not even be able to reach into, but it just looks really fantastic and just required so little effort. So that's obviously a great way to get in the like inner kind of cracks and crevices of this door between the door and the car where the really difficult kind of door jam uh, cleaning area exists. But I can also use the VX5000 on this part of the door jam and really every other part. But I'm gonna go ahead and do it right here. And actually because this is so, it's just like barely light dirt that's on here, I'm actually not even going to use any solution because there's just no need. I can accomplish taking off this light dirt and light dust with only my VX5000 steamer. And then of course I just mop up the excess, which takes barely any time, but come check this out. Once again, I mean, it's just like ridiculously clean, barely took any effort, and I didn't have to use any solution. I mean, check that out, it looks like it's waxed, but in this way, I don't have to worry about water spots because number one, I'm not letting any water dry, but number two, I'm using distilled water in the VX5000 steamer. So I'm not worried about water spots and I can just follow up this door jam so quickly so easily with some sort of wax Spray wax Meguiar's express spray wax anything I want it just makes things so 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 simple So it's probably safe to say that the VX 5000 steamer is definitely a product or a tool That's way more geared toward the professional detailers But if you are a professional detailer just understand that you can accomplish things without the VX 5000 steamer um, it may take a little bit more time, may take a little bit more effort, but there is a place to, you know, save up, not have to just throw money into stuff. Um, yes, I think the VX5000 is a great, amazing tool for professional detailers to have, but I detailed cars for a very, very long time without stuff like that. And um, that kind of stuff just pays for itself 
very quickly in my opinion. In my detailing world, I wanna go after tools and products that give me amazing results, maximum results with very minimal effort. So I wanna put in a little bit of effort and get the maximum, yield the maximum results I can. Not that you don't wanna work hard, but you wanna work smart. And so what can you use that's going to give you the best results and take you the least amount of time and the least amount of effort. And the VX5000 is such a versatile tool, you're not paying $800 for something that can only be used sometimes. You're paying for a tool that can be used arguably on every single area of the car, interior and exterior. You can actually even steam wash your car in the wintertime and things like that. And so you're paying for a tool that really not only gives you amazing results in such little time, but it makes your life easier. And in a sense, you look at it as an investment. You're paying money for that, but that thing is making you give better results in less time, which means you're giving better results, charging the same amount or more, making more per hour because it's taking you less time. So in a sense, you can switch your mindset to think of, if I'm paying for this, I'm investing my money in this because this tool is going to allow me to make more money and become more profitable than I am right now. But again, guys, I just want to reiterate that it's certainly not a must have and definitely keep and stay updated with my YouTube channel because I'm going to show so many videos um, on how to accomplish the same kind of things without these really big tools and without these, these, these big, awesome pieces of machinery. But I want to make sure I'm putting out videos that kind of reach professionals and do it yourselfers alike. So, um, and people beginning in the detailing business. So definitely don't feel obligated to go buy something like this. If you're just starting out, you know, get your strategy down, get your feet on the ground, get your bearings about how you detail your process, your strategies, your products, your tools that work best in your world. And then as you grow your business, as you gain more clientele, as you kind of become more prominent as a detailer in your area, then you start thinking about how do I invest some money here? How do I invest in myself, invest in my business in order to make me more profitable, more efficient, in order to expand my clientele, things like that. So guys, if you're new to my Wilson Auto Detailing YouTube channel, then make sure you consider subscribing because I come out with daily videos for tips and tricks, not only for the professional detailers, but also for the do-it-yourselfers on not only products, tools, and strategies to use, but also communication skills, business skills, and so much more. So if you're new, consider subscribing. And guys, if this video helped you, make sure to give it a thumbs up if it added some value, gave you some insight. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just hook those up in the comment section below this video and make sure to ask me. Don't hesitate to ask me anything. I want this YouTube channel to be a resource for you guys where you can ask questions and I can answer them and hopefully give you guys some good advice. And guys, I just wanted to take a second and say thank you for all y'all who have subscribed and kind of regularly watch my videos. It's definitely very encouraging to me and uh, just kind of encourages me to keep making these videos because I know that they're adding value to people's lives and really just helping people out. And so that's the goal is I want this channel to be able to help people and be kind of like a dictionary or an encyclopedia for detailers where they can say, I need an answer. Let's go flip through these videos and see maybe where I can find that answer. So I just want to tell you guys that I'm very grateful. I know I can't call all you guys out by name, but I am very grateful and uh, just honored to kind of be a part of this thing with you guys and be able to do this. Um, and kind of grow the Wilson Auto Detailing community with you guys because ultimately, apart from you guys, <laughs> it wouldn't exist, right? So anyways, guys, I love you guys. I appreciate you. And uh, from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, I'll see you guys next time.